Hello, everybody. It's Dave Neal, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News. And we just got the cast photos of Joey's season of The Bachelor, which premieres the third week in January 2024. Oh, here's a nice little stocking stuffer for all of our ravenous Bachelor fans looking for love out there. We're going to show the women, all of them. There is a trailer. There are the cast photos. I got to tell you, Peach is in, baby. Uh, they look great. These are great photos. I almost feel bad for old cast members. No offense, but like, it, it, even if we were to go say like, let's go to Courtney, Courtney Robertson cast photo. We're I'm just, just, just here to show you, um, how much they have improved on the cast photos. So like here, okay. So here's Courtney Robertson. You know, they just used to shoot that. We love Courtney. Uh, she's expecting her, uh, third baby here. Right. Um, uh, yeah, but we love her, but look at the cast photos they used to use. It looked like, you know, remember the neon lights that would be in the background, just garbage stuff really. Uh, but now, 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 now we've got very beautiful cast photos. Aren't these lovely? So let's do this. I will show you the trailer for Meet the Women, and then we'll go through everyone's photos. I kind of feel like a lot of people like to see my um, sort of male perspective on the power posing of the bitch wings and the skinny arms and all of the maneuvers to show off your best self. Uh, but let's first go to Meet the Women here. Um, again, I don't know if the music's licensed. And by the way, if you don't know who The Bachelor is, they shared this 17 weeks ago in three, two, one. It's I'm Joey, of course. It's romantic. I want to be married. I want to have the love that lasts a lifetime. And the first thing they did when they wanted to glam up Joey, the first thing they did is, of course, changed his haircut. That's the way to do it. He got a new haircut. Oh, boy. They, you know, pulled the hair back for the girls. He's got more, a little more forehead there, light under the eyes, perfect pearly whites, a little five o'clock shadow. I mean, I don't know, folks. He's looking sexy to me. Me. And um, let's get into it. Here is the video of Meet the Women just announced this hour on Bachelor ABC's Instagram account. Premieres in about a month, one month away. Here it is, folks. I'll be calling it out on my end here. First up is Allison, 26 years young from Philadelphia, a realtor. Blow us a kiss, Allison. Autumn, 26 years young from St. Louis, Missouri, an account executive. Play that tennis guitar. Chandler, 24 years young, from New York, New York. Graphic designer. Let's get graphic, baby. Krista, 26, from Abbotsford, British Columbia. Marketing director. Let's go, Canadias. Daisy, 25 years young, from Becker, Minnesota. Account executive. Oh, Daisy, throw us that rose. Edwina, 25, from Atlanta, Georgia. An entrepreneur. Lots of tennis balls. Erica, 25, from North Bergen, New Jersey. The Garden State. Looking very nice there. Plucked out of the garden herself. Evelyn, 29, from San Antonio, Texas. A nanny. Let's see if she can nurse Joey. Jen, 25 years young, from Miami, Florida. A bottle service girl. Sorry, no, physical assistant. Jess, 24 years young, from San Diego. Executive assistant. A little on the younger side, but that's how the show goes. Caitlin, 25, from Santa Fe, New Mexico. Radio chemist. What does that mean? You do it, you know, you're selling skinny tea now. Kayla, 27 years young, from Hamilton, Ohio. Guidance counselor. Kelsey A. from New Orleans, Louisiana, junior project manager. A lot of tennis balls here. K Kelsey T., 31 years young, from L.A., California. An actor. Finally an actor. Kyra, 26, a Miami, Florida paralegalist. Everyone's smelling the roses. Lainey, 27 years young, from Philly. Realtor. There's something in the water. All right. Lauren, 28, from Philly as well, a registered nurse. Go to Wawa and find your Lauren. Leah, 30, 23, from Waipahu, Hawaii. I probably messed that up. Lexi, 30, Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, boy, there's a peach for you, digital strat strategist. Medina, <laughs> Medina, 31. Medina goes to Bachelor <laughs> from Charlotte, North Carolina. Sundresses, shout it out. Maria, 29, from Kleinberg, Ontario. Executive assistant, Canadians represent free healthcare. Marlena, 26, from West Palm Beach there. From, oh, straight from mar lago the finance writer herself. Nat, 26. That's not a Nat you want to shoe off from Sudbury, Canada. And we've got Rachel, 26, from Honolulu, Hawaii. Hawaii, an ICU nurse. Very cute there, Rachel. And Sam, 31, from Nashville, Tennessee. You're the only 10 we see. A CPA. Samantha, 25, from Miami, Florida. A pro football cheerleader. Soon to be bottle service girl. I'm just kidding. Come on, folks. Sandra, 26, from Nashville. Cybersecurity consultant. Hey, Sandra, we could use you on our Patreon. And then we got Star, 25, a shooting star from Delray Beach, Florida. <laughs> well, we'll see how the fantasy suites go. Sydney, 28, from Newport, Rhode Island. Oh, my hometown. Vintage star owner for Sydney. Down under, Ta Ta Talia, 
23 from Huntington Beach, California. Come to my show, December 28th. Taylor, 23 from Chicago. Recruiter, how many people are here? They're all hitting the balls, folks. Zoe, 24 from Atlanta, Georgia. An artist just smacking it back at Joey. Zoe and Joey, and there's Zoe right there. Premieres January 22nd. Streams on Hulu and ABC. Wow. That was some aggressively fast crowd work. I you know, was watching that for the first time. Whoo, boy. Anyone, anyone want some cocaine with this video? Holy cow. That was a lot. Um, someone said, ah, this is kind of cringe. I couldn't disagree more. I think this is playful. They didn't try to do too much, right? I'm going to, I'm going to talk over this as they go again. They said, dance to this beat. They all had the same beats per minute. They all blew a kiss. They, they gave them one or two or three things. Smell the rose, blow a kiss or play air, uh, guitar on the, uh, and the tennis racket. Those are your options. No funny business. You can do your dad dance. You can come hither, whatever. That's all you got, right? Okay. Well, let's Let's go. And then Daisy there from Minnesota. She she bit the rose. Careful now. Watch out for it. We got to bite her. All right, folks. So anyway, is this a trailer? Here's a trailer for the season. Let's play this. Get ready for the most romantic season in Bachelor history. This is a once-in-a-lifetime experience with a once-in-a-lifetime person. I don't think I've ever met anybody like you. Joey's journey to find love is an unbelievable worldwide adventure. Oh, no! Let's let Joey desecrate multiple cultures as we play into whatever local stereotype we can find. What I'm looking for is something so real that anyone can feel it, they can see it, and it gets me excited to think about it. To feel the emotions and the feelings that I feel now, it feels amazing. A lot of smooching. She brings something out of me that I don't know if I've ever felt. I can't keep my hands off her, I can't stop thinking about Whoa. her. There's something there that's just different. I know that Joey is my guy. He's literally the epitome of everything I've ever wanted in a man. Joey! There will be love. I Tell am us. falling in love with you, and I've been falling in love with you. For the same one. When I'm with him, I just feel like a happiness in my heart. What is I've on your hands, Dave? There will be laughter. <laughs> oh, a sausage to the face. And there will be drama. Who the hell are you to tell me that I can't have time with Joey? What? Grow up. You need to grow up, grow bitch. Up. She said, grow up, bitch. I'm about to lose it. I don't understand what Joey is season. Someone is lying to me. I don't know which one to believe. And I don't Whenever a woman goes, I don't understand what he sees in her, I'm always like, I'll tell you 10 things, but it's probably not the ones you wanted to hear. It's not great personality, okay? I don't know if I'll be able to go forward. I'm so sorry. I'm sick of giving everything I can it's usually about not being reciprocated. Usually about the charity. I tried to get down on one knee and I was... Oh, stuck. they got... They got... What, where are we? In Iceland here? Uh, Reykjavik? Where, where is he? Is, uh, is he on a volcano? We've got Joey here uh, pondering his thoughts. They always, they always send them to some random... They're like, can I get a random uh, natural... Uh, you know, can I get a geyser or a volcano or some sort of random barge, you know, in the middle of nowhere? Let's get a lighthouse for Joey to stand on top of as we have him ponder his thoughts. So my biggest fear is the one walking out. I'm afraid of someone not accepting me for me. Whoa. I don't know how Tears. much longer I can do this. So is this it? Whoa. I think it is. I just don't want to end this alone. But what happens in the end is an unprecedented, shocking first Prove in it. Bachelor history. Prove it. <sighs> that was crazy. I didn't expect that at all. I can't think that's happened before. I can't believe it. I dumped somebody on the altar and they weren't happy. I don't even know what to say. I know I gave as much as I could. Sick of feeling like this. I don't know. It feels wrong, but I don't know what to do. It all starts on the new season of The Bachelor. January 22nd. Garbage. Oh, boy. Okay, okay, okay. So there's your trailer. I, guys, I, I mean, I don't know about you. Leave a comment. We're filming this live on Patreon, patreon.com slash Dave Neal. Are you not jazzed for this? Are you guys not jazzed? I watch these trailers. I'm ready to go to war. Let me tell you something. When this new season starts, I will no longer be on green screen. I will be in my new studio on another part of the country. I'm very much looking forward to it. We're going to have more live streams, better internet, more TV monitors. My hair is going to be longer. It's going to be a whole thing, folks. I'm very excited. Now, let's go to... Now, we don't have any names here, so it's hard to... Uh, by not having the names, it's kind of... Uh, 
tough. Do they tag everyone in here? So different, you know, uh, we're going with bright colors in front of this peach background. I don't know if this was a real background or if they digitally put it in. My guess is that it's real. You have a Genevieve-like looking girl. we got a skinny arm happening there. Ripped jeans look like the midriff. Ladies love to show a belly button. Let me tell you something. Belly buttons for the boys. That's what's happening here. Uh, they all got the message. Belly buttons and then some sort of like lace uh, number spaghetti strap. Uh, do I have that right? Um, we've got yeah some pl pleather. You know she looks like she's wearing a turtleneck on her. I don't know what that is, but it looks very nice. Green, um, a uh, mock uh, green linen thing. Let's move it on here. Uh, double double hips on the hands, which is good. And then we've got a um, let's zoom in here. An L. L is for love. Oh, we I didn't mean to do that. And then we've got um, this sort of corset look happening. The the ladies love a good corset. That's big these days. Oh, we've got uh, we've got Snooky's bump it. The bump it's back. Oh, this might be breaking news. Hold on, hold on, folks. I didn't realize. I didn't know we were going there, but I'm all about it. Hold on, hold on. I uh, I need to do this the right way, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, breaking news in Bachelor Nation. Recording this live on patreon.com slash Dave Neal. Breaking news in Bachelor Nation. The Bump It is back. That's right here. Hold on. Now my buttons aren't working. There it is. Love it. Love a good bump it. The height, the height range we have here. What I mean, there's a tangerine stuck in that head somewhere. You know, you gotta prop it up. Good volume. Very cute looking, and she's got a nice little daisy floral thing happening here with a sort of red uh I don't know, a crochet top. you know. Okay, shoulders are out. It is the year of the collarbone. We've got the AC joint popping out right there. Big AC joint. Uh put your sunblock on. Uh, you know, you don't get burned or whatever. And then here's another ring. What, what does that say? What does that say there? I don't know what that says, but it looks nice. An M there. M is for, um, uh, uh, must get with Joey. I don't know. And then, of course, their very uh, nice hair and kind of the sexy hair look. Okay, so this is how you know that they're shooting on a real background because you can see the backdrop is like sort of flashing and bouncing back into the hair. So they've got this like sort of peach backdrop there happening. Um, very nice. And then a nice sundress. Very, we got the Taylor Swift style bangles. We got uh, women love a good bangle with some jewels on there. Um, and a cute smile, dimples. Very nice their eyebrow game on point we're here we're not judging anybody they're all fantastic and um also love uh love a nice holiday red uh mock turtleneck look going on there very good um do we have wait is this a belly button ring we have a belly button ring breaking news for that too we have bump bits and belly button rings who would have known who would have known what year is it 2023 are we all going to spencer's and limited two after this or what let's get uh annie's pretzel and have a party at the mall very nice to see i've lived long enough that the belly button ring is back the old naval she's uh going to the naval war school there that's a um Brit that's a uh, navy pun all right very nice here nice soft soft yellow shirt we like that and let's move it along great smile to our uh the second half of the ladies here over the shoulder hey how are you L look at my good side my left deltoid here it is again another similar yellow very bright colors here this is you're not the boss of me uh the body language we love it we love an independent woman a queen here with her um, dimples looking very nice. The middle part here, like the Gen Z likes to do. Very cute as well. Maybe an emerald, a heart-shaped emerald there. Very good. And um, a nice, I love it. I think this is called a cowl neck. Is this called a cowl neck? Hey, honey, can I get confirmation here? On this being a cowl neck, we'll have to see what she says. Um, I have, uh, you know, married to a fashionista. Uh, that, <laughs> and then also very nice. It looks like this might be some sort of, uh, do you want to jump in here? Or no, we're, this, we're on the show. My wife can't jump in here. 21 weeks pregnant. You want to show the belly here? Oh. She doesn't have pants on. This is uh, maternity life. Is this a cowl neck? Oh, it's sort of cowling. It's like a faux cowl. Okay, so it's a faux cowl. So I wouldn't be out of my I mind. It it's it's pleated a little bit. Pleated a little bit. Would you call these spaghetti straps on the cowl neck? Yeah. Okay, very nice. Do you want to... Okay, well, I'm going to have my wife here off off center here. And then we've got... Um, you know, this would just be, what, a ribbed tank top? Is that what you call it? Maybe a cobalt blue. Very nice there. Um, and we've got... Uh, now we're doing the... Um, is it denim skirt? What's that called? Yeah, 
Denim skirt. Oh, hey, I'm batting a thousand. Who knew? With a um, what you call over the sh- uh, off the shoulder long sleeve. Um, would you? Would this be considered a um, like a unitard? Possibly. Maybe, maybe not. Women, the unitards. Women, lo- you know what women love is the unitards that come up that show off a little hip bone. Y'all are crazy. You <laughs> guys are crazy. Here it is again. Similar shirt. Maybe also a unitard or just pumped in here with uh, what appears to be black denim. A bodysuit. Oh, bodysuit. Not a unitard. A bodysuit. What's the difference between a unitard and a bodysuit? Well, what's this? A sundress? This looks like she went to Brandy Melville. This looks like a, right? Am I right? This looks like a Brandy Melville sundress. That's right, folks. Uh, what do you call this uh, in the front? Uh, the uh, drawstring, uh, drawstring tie in the front, and then she's got what? What would you call the? Um, the tunnel. A, this the is called a tunnel. Going the, tunnel. the drawstring is going through yeah. the tunnel. My wife works in fashion. And then what is this sort of um, see-through? Um, a lace inset. Uh, I was going to say a lace crochet insert with a lace tunnel. Come on, folks. And then we've got here, uh, you know, she actually looks like um, uh, uh, that Mackerman, the uh, Molly Mackerman girl from Billions that we watched last night. Terrible Christmas movie. Either way, very nice, um, sort of like the wavy hair. A very simple, now this would be body, this feels like bodysuit material. It looks like she's wearing a wetsuit. All good. Time to go down under uh, on the ocean level, that is. No puns there. Uh, with a short gold chain necklace. Uh, this lady, she, she's, she's got secrets. She's going with a simple outfit. She's letting the smile do all the heavy lifting. And then we've got a very interesting, like loofah material here. What this is almost like a furry, um, what's it called? A Teletubby uh, material. <laughs> she got like a Teletubby, um, button up, very warm, you know, the warm under the hot lights, but looks nice. Good color there. Uh, you know, I love the bright colors in front of this, sort of a peach background. And then another, um, this is, no, so this has evidence that it's not a bodysuit, but it could still be a bodysuit technically there. Uh, but she's got a fuchsia-like uh, spaghetti strap tank top. Is that what you'd call that? On white pants. Care- oh, who's wearing white pants these days? You step on, you sit on the wrong thing, your day's over. And then we've got skinny arms on the left end with some, uh, I call it almost a French tipped manicure, really. Something like that. Who cares? Don't judge me. With, um, would you call this a cupped shirt? And then women, oh, Jesus is hanging out there between the uh, between the collarbone here on the necklace. And she's got some, um, uh, what would you call this? A pleated smock. She has smocked short sleeve shirt with poofy shoulders. Would you call that? Is that a technical term? Poofy shoulders. And then what, what, what material would this be? Pleather probably maybe leather, pleather, or leather, very, um, Oscar like in the metallic gold. I mean, that's one way to make an entrance with, uh, what's it called when you have the flat tipped, um, nails. Is there a term for that? Coffin. Coffin. That's called coffin nails. She's got coffin nails here. Um, and looking very good. I, uh, you know, um, you know, we already showed off the bump it possible bump it there. Um, and then a over the shoulder. Would you also call this a cowl or a, what, what would you call this? A ribbed long sleeve shirt there looking very nice again with a necklace. Can't tell what's on the necklace. And then here might be some sort of velvety. I love this shirt, honey. What's this? This is a, almost like a sports, I almost like a velvet sports bra. Cute, right? Yeah, Tasha called it a rolls. stretch velvet. And this wooden spaghetti strap. spaghetti strap with maybe a separate color right here. Like it's a, like probably just the lining underneath she the called that the lining underneath. Yeah, very nice there. Great fashion choices. Grows great there. And I think that's everybody. Did you want to take a look at Joey's outfit? And then we have Joey here, uh, not to uh, leave Joey out. They're bringing back the salmon suit. Oh, that's so pretty. That's pretty, right? I mean, it looks really great. Nice. That's like for a guest at like a spring wedding. Spring wedding like vibes. Sort of wedding. Yeah, Bridgerton. Like beach wedding. Oh, I I feel bad for wedding planners. Can we just do something Bridgerton simple, but Bridgerton? It's like if you want simple, it ain't Bridgerton, okay? You know, nothing like twenty foot high, uh, uh, you know, floral uh, wigs and yeah, stuff. 
All right, great suit. Yeah, even Jesse Palmer says suit game on point. Enough said there. All right, well, folks, that does it for us as far as we met the women. We got their outfits down. I hope you had fun. If you want more content, you can go to my afternoon podcast. I'll be discussing this more, a Bachelor Rush Hour. You can click the link in the description below or join us on Patreon if you want to become a member, patreon.com slash Dave Neal. Have a good one.